Hello, everyone. Mr. Stearns here. Good to hear you, see you, all that stuff. How's everyone doing today? All right, so we had to make some changes. Mr. Stearns, even Mr. Stearns needs to fall forward, right? We weren't quite ready to work on the Canva as a team for most of the uh, classrooms. So Mr. Stearns had to readjust, and let's take a look at it from more of an independent level. Does that make sense, guys? I think we know why. We're working on our different three uh, class norms. Show respect, be engaged, and be trustworthy. I mean, how could we move to teams if we're doing things that are kind of crazy and your teacher doesn't feel comfortable? Does that make sense? That's where I'm at right now. So I'm saying to myself, I'm trying to model the same thing. I wanted to do teams on this project, but I'm feeling that if I do that, you're going to fall backwards and that wouldn't be fair to you. So I'm going to admit my mistake right up front. I misunderstood where we were at as far as being able to work in teams. And I'm going to fall forward and redo all of this project just for you. That's how much I care. All right, so let's take a look at the project and see where we stand right now as an independent project for most students. Okay, I will talk to individual students if I would like them to do something different. Otherwise, everybody will be doing this as an independent assignment first. Okay, so let's go and take a look at what we're working on. Let me see if I can go to uh, TCI. TCI is right here. This is the book we always use, right? Okay, I'm sure you could find uh, Islam in the other book too. But this is the one that we're going to use because we use the same, uh, the same numbers. That way we don't get confused. Feel me? Okay, I'm going to put this microphone down. I think you can hear me. All right, here we go. All right, so we are on 45 right now, guys. So you got to go all the way down because we're starting at the end. Remember, begin with the end in mind. This year, we're going to start with Islam and work our way backward. Uh, of course, yes, we're going to connect to all three of the monotheistic religions, uh, Christianity when we get to Rome, uh, and then the Hebrews in chapter 12. And when we get to 12, we'll kind of consolidate all of them and see the connection between Abraham. Okay, that's the whole idea. And then we'll finish up the whole idea of world religions, talking about why is it that religion is so important as we study social science? It has something to do with the why. It's the one thing social scientists can't ever really understand. But if you have a good grasp of what the religion might have been, you have a better chance to make a better educated guess. Does that make sense? Okay, that's what social science is, an educated guess based on evidence, just like when I grade you. I'm guessing. It's based on my observations and what I see from your work. Okay, and that's one of the reasons I'm redoing this, because I reflected on where our behavior was. The grades were doing great, but the behavior and working together and the inappropriate, I don't know how to say it, inappropriate noises, if you know what I'm talking about, by some students, did not make me feel comfortable. So what I'd like for you to do is this, as we go to our lesson 45, which we're actually working on together as a class. So when we do this part of the project, we've already gone over this. This should not be this difficult, okay? So this chapter right here is going to go with this information, okay? So if you go into 50 or 40, what is it, 45, you'll notice that this goes right along with 45. Do you see how I'm giving you some ideas of what you could do? Okay, you don't actually have to use my template. If you can think of a different way to do it, that would be awesome, just come see me. I'd prefer it to be on Canva, but it doesn't have to be my template. You could find your own. Okay, just go to templates and take a look at all the templates. Okay, there are tons and tons of them. Okay, all kinds of things you can do over here to make it work for you kind of have to play with a little bit to figure it out. When I taught first grade, I called it free exploration. So explore a little bit. These are the main things I need in your Canva, whether you use my template or make your own, okay? I need vocabulary. I need it titled, of course, correctly. Now I'm going to, I think that's section one. Notice how these are all by section. 
And really all you really need to do is to draw pictures, uh, get information that would be meaningful for that section. Hint, connect to the main ideas, click that light bulb, look at the blue things. Do you agree with those main ideas? Do you see any other main ideas? Those main ideas are the things that should be here. But in your own words, preferably in picture form. Yes, you can go online and, and borrow pictures as long as it's legal and you give credit to the right place. Does that make sense? That kind of makes sense. Okay. So again, these are just connect, these are just section headings. Do you see how I did that? You're going to put in some pictures that connect to the main ideas. That's it. Again, you might not like mine. You might need to add more slides. That's totally fine. I'm just giving you the basic idea. Give me the main idea to the call to profithood. Muhammad's teachings meet rejection. The next one is from migration to Medina to the end of Muhammad's life. The four caliphs. And the one I struggle the most with, if I'm being honest, is the Umayyad dynasty. I don't know that much about them. So that's one of my personal goals. Remember I said school is kind of like a swim team or a track team. You're competing against yourself, but you're also competing for your team. So if I'm going to be a better, stronger teacher, I have to always challenge myself, even though I'm already a superhero. <laughs> yeah, right, Sterns. Okay, so really key in on this. That's the one I'm going to key in on. And then the summary is just, again, hitting those main points and really tying the summary information into the essential question. The difference between good and great projects will be this. How will you give me the summary in picture form or some other form that makes sense without copying and pasting? That's sometimes hard to do. That's why I say stick to pictures because pictures paints a thousand words. That's right. Okay. So you can add as many pictures as you want, as many pages. That's fine. You can do your own template. But I really suggest if you feel like me, you're not strong in technology, it's not my passion, just stick to my, um, to my template and you'll be fine, okay? For those other people, you have my permission to extend it, expand it, make it your own, please, okay? So that would be connected directly to 45. So if we go to 45 and we look at the textbook, you can see that they follow all of these main ideas. Do you see the section headings here? Do you see how this table of contents is critical? Okay, same thing as in the front of the uh, green textbook. They always have a table of contents. This is what I use to organize my essays. Does that make sense? Okay, do you notice that the summary kind of helps you organize essays? Do you see that? First body paragraph, second body paragraph, third body paragraph, make an introduction, make a summary. No, you don't have to write an essay. I'm just trying to point that out. Okay, so let's go to 46, which is the other assignment or the other um, lesson that we're working on, okay, 46. And that's learning about world religions and Islam. And really what that comes down to, guys, is the five pillars of Islam. This is pretty straightforward. Um, I would expect that you understand what the five pillars are in English. The challenge is this. Do you know how, what the Arabic names are for each of the pillars? That would be a challenge if you could refer to the pillars as uh, the Arabic name, like Shahada, Salat, Sakat, Siam, is that correct? And the Hajj, and Jihad, Islamic law. Does that make sense? Is Sharia. Okay, so do your best. Do your best. If you can't, then feel free to just use the English version. That's fine. Does that make sense? So for each of those, look at these section headings. Now let's go back to Canva and take a look at my template. Okay, this is the template that we're using. See, you're gonna to have to have a title page. Again, it does not matter if you use my template or if you come up with your own template. I'm just looking to make sure you have all of my things on here. Did you label it all correctly? First and last name, the date you started, what class period, what class period do you have? Do you know how many hours I spend trying to figure out what class you're in? Nope, the old man. Put the class in there, guys. I got to have my coffee, too. Okay? Notice how these go right with your section titles. Let's go back here to Canva and take a look at that. See? Section titles. The Quran. First pillar is Shahada. 
and then you'd put information, pictures, stuff like that. But you want to really kind of have a balance between words and pictures, white and black. Balance is critical when doing a presentation. Don't overdo the words. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay? I'm not saying my uh, template's awesome. It's a good place to start, and it's a good place to get an A if that's where you want, need to stay. Okay? So you decide your level of connection to this assignment. Okay? All right. So at the end, I really need you to know the five pillars of Islam. And let's see, where is that TCI? There it is. Guys, in each of these, here's what you need to be able to prove. This is the proof. That's what your template has to prove. Does your Canva answer that question? Does it? How do the beliefs and practices of Islam shape Muslims' life? In other words, how do the five pillars of Islam influence everything that a Muslim does? Do you see why it would be important to study religion, to get the why behind why people did things in ancient history? It's kind of a deeper clue. Since social scientists don't know why, the deeper and the stronger the clue, the better our guess can be. Feel me? Okay, so the temp or for the project, what we're going to be doing is tying 45 and 46 together as a presentation, uh, one presentation, okay? So we're going to work on that individually unless I've made other arrangements with you individually, okay? All right, I think that's where we're uh, headed, guys. And I'm going to give you time uh, next week during conferences, and I need to have that done by the end of next week. You should have plenty of time to do that in class, especially since we've gone over all of 45 as a class. Okay? All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see where we are toward the end of the week. Don't panic if things are a problem. We're just trying to find out what does quality look at like for this project given three or four days of 30 or 40 minutes of work time in class. Okay, so don't panic if it's not finished in the end, if it's high quality. Now, I would kind of panic a little bit if you mess around for two days and just start slamming it out in the last day. That's a different story. But for those of you who are working hard in class every single day, I would put my earphones on and just work. Okay, you're going to get three days at least to work on this in class next week. And it's a great week since it's parent conferences. You know how that is? Okay, so I've got your back. Do you have my back? Will you have this finished by the end of next week? If you do, and it's high quality, that's a challenge coupon because I am kind of pushing you. Does that make sense? So if you don't finish it in the end, you'll probably have some more time, but you're going to have to squeeze it in, and that's kind of a problem. Okay? All right, so that's all I have to say about that. I hope that that helps. I'll have an information sheet linked to this when I finish it and a grading document. Okay, so parents know how we're grading and what the assignment is really about. This assignment is meant to be done in school with every once in a while, if you need 20 minutes at home, you have to decide that if I've given you permission. Okay, but remember, I promised parents that I was not going to assign any homework and I won't. You have to do that. Okay, but it has to be your work, not your tutors, not your parents, not your neighbors, not your brothers, not your sisters, not your dogs, not your pet iguana. You feel me? Okay, I need to see your quality. Okay? You don't have to be perfect. If somebody else does your work, how does that help you up the learning mountain? You feel me? All right, it's kind of a long video. I'll talk to you guys later, and we'll see how this uh, project turns out. Fall forward, Stearns. Whoa!